Hello everyone. Hi. Welcome to another art lesson. So, last time we did drew the four strawberries inspired from the pop artist Andy Warhol, the the artist who invented uh, pop art style. And as you can see, here are my four strawberries, and I need to color them. So what we need to use today is some markers and some crayons, okay? Uh, the crayons, we're only gonna use it for the background, which is anything behind my main item, which is the strawberry, or if you're drawing anything, anything behind the main item or the item that you are drawing, the hero of your drawing, it's called background. So anything behind it, like this, space is a background okay so we're only gonna use crayons for the background and markers for the strawberry and the table okay you don't have to copy the same colors i'm using i mean like you can use your own shades of course you don't have to use uh, the same colors at all the same shades okay and in pop art as we saw before in the pictures last meeting it was very colorful and very cheerful. So what you need to do is to keep the strawberries very colorful. It doesn't have to be red. It doesn't have to be real at all. You will just try to color with creative colors and it, it has to be so colorful. So I'm gonna show you two examples. I'm gonna color this strawberry and this strawberry and then I will post a picture of it all colored if you would like to see it so I don't make the video too long okay so let's start with this strawberry over here in my opinion I would like to see a yellow strawberry so I'm going to color this strawberry yellow so as you remember before we said how to color with anything not only markers that we have to keep the direction same direction either either I choose this direction go this way or this way and keep the direction never change it all the way until you finish the strawberry or the, sh the shape you are colored so I'm gonna show you how to color very carefully and never leave any white space never at all if you left white spaces i would know that you didn't watch the video and you just colored which is not right because we need to know how to color and use the materials right okay so here you go you don't have to color too fast take your time never get out of the shape so we keep everything clean i'm only coloring the strawberry i will never get out of the shape keep saying that all the way while you're coloring one direction and never get out of the shape never leave white spaces three rules three important rules if you ever gonna color with anything not only markers one direction take a direction and no white spaces and never get out of the shape that you are coloring i'm not gonna color this part the same color as the strawberries i'm gonna color it green You can color it with any color you would like. You can even mix colors together. Okay, I'm done with my yellow strawberry. Now I need to color this. I would like to do it with some green. There we go. I'm very careful never to get out of the shade. go yeah keep coloring with me and try yeah I'm 
very conscious not to get out. Don't color too fast so you don't get out of the shade. I'm gonna color the leaf here. And the stem as well. Now I'm done with my strawberry. Okay, now I need to color the table. The table also we are going to use uh, markers for it. You can color the table anything you want. In my opinion, I'm gonna make the table for this one purple. So purple table. Be careful never to get inside this or this rectangle. Just keep it this rectangle inside this table only. I'm not leaving any white spaces behind. If I ever left one, I go back to it and do it again. Okay. If you are going to work on your desk or any surface, just maybe put something underneath it so you don't ruin it and keep the house clean. Okay. Did you see that I'm walking in the same direction? I'm coloring on the same direction. I didn't do this and then this and then this. And no, this is not the right way to color. I'm just following the same direction I picked all the way. to get inside this trophy. When you are like close to the item, just try to be very, very slow and then you're fine. I really like these two colors together, purple and yellow. There you go. Now we're done with the table and the strawberry. We need to color the background and it needs to be something very colorful just like how Andy Warhol used to do it and the pop art style. So I'm going to pick very bold color. I'm going to use um, maybe, maybe some, some red color. Red. Oh, I found like the magenta color. So I'm going to use it like it's dark pink. But it's crayon, okay? For the background, I did say that we're going to use only crayons, okay? So be careful never to get inside the strawberry, okay? You're allowed to do that around it, so you, do, you make sure you're not, I mean, like, just do this, okay? Be careful not to get inside the strawberry because I know this is hard, but this is our challenge today, how to color correctly. And then you become an expert in coloring and teach everyone around you how to color correctly, yeah? I'm going to do that. I'm covering the white spaces as much as I can. But I know that with crayons, that might be some white spaces which is acceptable because this is the texture of the material or the crayons or the oil pastels. So 
that's totally okay with only the crayons but also not too much just a little bit so you never like lose the texture of the, the, the oil pastel material Okay, here is a tricky one, how to do this. I just have to, like, as if I'm tracing around it, so I don't get inside it. There we go. Be very careful doing that. Again, another alert, never just um, like use just this paper, put something to support underneath it. So like you can just put another paper underneath it so you don't ruin the table or the desk or the place you are working on. Okay, so like when, when the crayon get out like this, you just have something to support. It will get messy. Ooh, about to finish. Don't press so hard on the crayon so your hand won't hurt, okay? a tricky one just be careful do the line around it just this small line and then keep coloring it's all about controlling the crayon and you can do it it's fine because you are the one who control it controls it okay look at this i'm done with this one Okay, we need to color the other strawberry. I will try to be fast in this one. I just want to show you how you're going to change the background colors because you're not supposed at all to use the same background color in any of them. You have to change that color every time. You have to change the strawberry color in each strawberry. Nothing has to be the same. This rectangle is not like this, it's not like this, it's not like this. This is the idea of pop art, making them different colors. Okay, for this strawberry, I'm going to color it with... Um, okay, I can use blue. Okay, I'm gonna make my strawberry light blue. Okay, so I will start with the strawberry. A direction mm -hmm. never remember the three rules again never get out of the shape color in one direction no white spaces and focus which shape or which thing in the strawberry I'm coloring right now. I'm not coloring the stem, I'm coloring only the strawberry body. So I can't get inside that one. I have to be very conscious and like take care what I'm coloring, what I'm not coloring because and which colors I do I have to make a plan in my head how I want it to look like before I start coloring and I have to pick colors that make sense together. Just like when we go out and we pick our outfit 
colors or like the shades we're going to wear today to look good. This is how you pick your, your colors. There we go. to get inside this stem. Okay, I'm done with this. For this stem as well, I don't know, I'm gonna make green but different shade to the stem. But you don't have to use the same thing. No white spaces, no white spaces. Okay, I'm I colored it with blue and green. This is actually like light green. The leaf as well, the same thing. And just need to color this part as well. Okay, and the table this time I'm gonna make it um, maybe orange because orange goes well with blue. So I'm going to color the table with orange. Okay. Direction. Same direction, never get out of the shape, and no white spaces. These are the rules that we have to know and say every time we're coloring, okay? Well, you don't have to say it every time, you just maybe say it in your head, or keep it in your mind all the time. You can even write down it, write, write it down on a paper next to you, so like, Every time you just keep looking at it and know that I need to do that in order to color correctly. Okay, I'm trying not to get out of the shape. I know that I'm coloring a little bit fast. You don't have to be that fast because you're not filming a video. <laughs> and that's I'm just trying to show you everything in the video but also keep it short, it doesn't have to be like a very long video. Okay. Almost done with the table. Almost done. Ooh, yay, I'm done. I don't know why it's like so bright here, but here you go. This is how it looks like. Okay, now it's time to pick a very cold and bright color for the background. For this one, my friends, I'm going to color it with um, maybe some um, maybe 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 light green, but like crayons light green. If you don't have the light green, just color with any different color but for me I I like that mix just the most important thing is not which color do you use it's just that it has to be different from each background it has to be different colors chosen for each strawberry okay be careful never to get inside the strawberry just use as bright as many as you can of bright colors, just like how Andy Warhol used to color his strawberries. It's always so colorful, always so cheerful, and bold and bright. Trying not to hurt my hands while doing it. If your hands started started hurting, 
it means you are pressing too hard on your crayon and that's not right you don't have to be pressing so hard on it because that will hurt your hand but if you felt it and like you're not pressing so hard or anything take a break and then finish coloring and then take a break and then finish coloring to cover the white spaces as much as I can. I'm gonna, after I finish this stroke area, I'm gonna post another picture of it, of the four of them, how I colored book four of them. It was just the purpose of the video is that to show you how to use the material and that's it. Okay. How to color correctly the our three rules. Can you say it? One direction, no white spaces, never get out of the shape you are coloring or the item you are coloring. I'm doing the three of them right now. Covering all the white spaces I can cover. spaces all the white spaces okay so this is how it looks like at the end different yeah and these has to be different colors as well I'm going to post you a picture of four of them after I do these two color them and for you as an example how to color but if you pick different shades it's fine, just as long as you know what we have to do, which is change the colors in every rectangle. I don't mind any shades, really, okay? I hope you enjoyed that and watching me uh, coloring, and I hope you are doing good coloring yours as well. And I will be so happy to see pictures of your artwork. Don't forget to turn it to the assignment post on Google Classroom. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye!